So this was supposed to be a different video, but as I was making it, I saw this. And then I changed my plans. The on crew stage itself hasn't shocked me really. We've been here before, however, it's the fans' response that made me feel the need to make this video. Let's get into it. So I don't think we need to spend too much time on that specific on crew stage of Easy by Reserfim. You know, it basically checks all the boxes of a dreadful on crew stage. Painfully shaky, notoriously pitchy vocals, visible tension, discomfort, almost frightened looks. What doesn't help Lesser Film in this case is 1. It's not their first underwhelming on crew stage. And two, the song they performed was easy, as of easy to sing. So the encore was really quite awful, and before you say no in-ear monitors are not the problem, the venues where music shows take place are rather small and don't have a huge capacity, so in-ear monitors are not a necessity to be able to sing at least decently, which many groups have proved before. We know this. About the encore itself, while it may hurt the group's reputation and they hopefully will recover from it with time, the Seraphim really is just an example here. So usually when an encore like this happens, the response can go in two ways. And both are rather problematic. Let's explore. Fans are quick to criticize idols with a burning passion and lose respect for those who did less than decently during the encore. Since K-pop idols are musical artists, when and if an encore like this happens, people start to question their presence on stage, the validity of their careers. You might hear, if they sing like that, they don't deserve this career, they don't deserve to be on stage. I get the frustration. I think fans are sometimes fed up with the vocal standard of K-pop. On crew stages are now one of the few occasions where we get to hear idols sing 100% live with no tuning or correction. Trust me, I get the frustration. I am a bit of a vocal snob myself after all. But let's not overreact. To say that a weak vocalist doesn't deserve to be an idol is wrong and unfair. We just cannot ignore the fact that K-pop idols are not only vocalists, and that being an idol is an art of multitasking. That's the industry. I'd say that's one of the selling points of K-pop. Idols can excel in different areas other than singing, and can bring a variety of assets that shouldn't be ignored. For example, both Shuhua of Idol and Sakura of La Seraphim are easily among the weakest vocalists that the K-pop industry has to offer. That is simply the analysis of their vocal skills. And they still prove to be valuable members of their groups. In Shuha's case, her sensual presence, stunning visual, and this unique personality make Shuha an irreplaceable member of the group, in my opinion. When it comes to Sakura, her improvement in dance and stage presence makes it clear that she is a hard worker who is passionate about performing and is an important member of her group despite struggling vocally. I mean, let's be real. But there's another side of the coin though. On crew stages are supposed to be playful and fun, who cares what does idol sound like? And that's also not the way to go. The idea that you can't have a casual, fun on crew stage while singing comfortably and in tune is false.
It is also not a coincidence that groups who practice their vocals more often and are more competent vocalists generally perform better during encore stages. Encore stages matter in K-pop even way more than before because like I said earlier, they're one of the few occasions when we get to hear idols completely live without the omnipresent editing and post-production, which is just uh, a different kind of nightmare. <laughs> and you know, not to be too stuck in the past, but let's face it, especially in more recent years, it's not the standard for idols to perform like this. No wonder then that on-crew stages seem like a big deal. Yes, the industry is changing and nowadays there is more focus on dancing and overall performance aspect of it all. And fans have definitely adapted to the current trends, but we still care about vocals. K-pop is of course many things, but I'd argue that it's about music first and foremost. Singing matters, so on-crew stages matter as well. While slip-ups can happen to any vocalist at any time, not being able to get through your own song is disappointing embarrassing it is unprofessional let's not be afraid of saying so now who's to blame realistically i cannot answer that is it the companies who refuse to offer their artists proper vocal training or are idols themselves not interested maybe both for some reason singing is not the priority what's certain is that when artists do not practice their vocals when it's time to sing on stage disaster is waiting to happen which is doing a disservice to everyone involved. You cannot measure talent, but ultimately, what truly matters the most is what you do with it. Talent alone will only get you so far without the skill needed. Singing, like any other skill, needs practice time and effort. An idol like Sakura may not have what it takes to become the next Ailey, but under good care. She surely could learn how to breathe better during singing and also improve her intonation. What's more, I assume that would help her gain more confidence when it's her turn to sing. I think fans are more than allowed to be dissatisfied with the recent vocal standard in K-pop. I truly do. All crew stages that sound the way struggle feels shouldn't be the norm. But we're also responsible for the way we react. Excessive, ignorant, emotionally charged criticism is immature and just unhelpful. Probably a better solution would be to instead focus on praising those idols who do not struggle vocally. Luckily, those still exist in K-pop. Let's show them our support and appreciation. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. Thank you for your recent patience with me. See you in my next one. For now, bye guys. Oh. Yes, I still can't stop listening to it.